Yeah, tell Ava where you're taking her today. Well, I'm going to Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> what you gonna get? I'm going to get a Christmas coffee and a donut. And you're gonna get to come along with us live for the trip to see what it's like with Lisa taking a trip to get some Christmas coffee. And the pet cemetery is right on the other side of those trees. <laughs> There's a pet cemetery right back there. Uh, so here we are coming to the stop sign. Now, we are in Copper's Cove right now, but the Dunkin' Donuts Lisa's taking us to is... In Colleen for now, but we are getting our own Dunkin' soon. And we may be able to show you the skeletal structure of the coming soon Dunkin' Donuts. It's currently November 17th, 2021, right? It is now right. noon 14 p.m. It is 59 degrees, slightly brisk, but nice and sunny. I know at this time you guys have been getting snow. It has been very cold where you're at, but it's nice here. Uh, just a little brisk. Oh, did it really? I think I missed it. There was a train going, and if you can see the sign there, it says, the green sign across the street by the 55 speed limit, it says Copper's Cove, city limit, population, 3202, if you can see that. So we have 32,032 people as of the census when they took that and put that sign up. So we're around 32,000 people here in this town. And Colleen is a much bigger city with many more things as the train is going by. Look at the graffiti on the train. Now, Lisa, you learned something interesting about Ava this morning. What did you learn about Ava this morning? I learned that Ava was in close contact with somebody with COVID. Who was that? But she tested negative. Her best friend. Right. Scary. Uh, now, down this road, we are going to hit a 7-Eleven. It'll be on that side, the left-hand side, coming up soon. Ketchup and mustard. On her report card. Go A's. Oh, straight A's. Hey, hey, but that's awesome. You got straight A's. Usually they're kind of slanted like this with the line in the middle. But yeah, I'm glad you got the straight ones. Uh, and here is the 7-Eleven. Our gas is currently... The closest store to us. <laughs> closest store. Our gas is $2.92 a gallon at this 7-Eleven on November 17th here. FedEx truck. And here's our... Uh, uh, City Park coming up on the left hand side, our, uh, what's it called, Civic Center? Mm -hmm. Our Civic Center is right here, this is where a lot of events take place. Right here in this building, uh, there's a golf cart in front of it. And it oh, they're decorating for Christmas. They're decorating for they're Christmas. Christmas. The and this is our City Park right here. It's got the fountain out there in the middle of the little pond, and there's ducks and they're birds. They're putting the lights up. And they're, they're putting, putting the lights up right now. And the lights will look pretty cool in the park for Christmas. We've seen yep. them. Uh, they light the bridges. Yeah, they light the they bridges. They got two bridges that go over the, I guess, pond is what you'd call it. <laughs> so, uh, now there's a, is there a school up here? One thing, one thing that is coming right up here that I don't quite understand why it's here, but it's here, is this area where the trucks are. There's like, there's homes on this side, but there's a little area right here. And there's always trucks parked there. I, I don't know what the reason is for that because this is a residential area. Uh, here's a little bit of a bridge over Mini Creek type area. Now there's a house on this side right here, kind of dark, that was weird colored blue. They've been gutting it. You can see the bottom of it there where the, the it was like neon blue. <laughs> the whole house was like that. And every now and then you'll see palm trees and stuff that look dead. Because Winter Storm Uri kind of uh, put a kibosh on the growing of some of the plant life out here. Some of the palm trees. Ours came, came back, uh, but we weren't sure if they were. And it's also fall right now. So some of the leaves are falling off the trees. Here's a big church right here that has... They had like a Halloween truck or treat there. First Baptist. It goes all the way down the block. And what's weird is right up here, Ava, there is a gas station on this side and a Dairy Queen on this side. Both of them this year have had people crash into them. That had people crash into them on the left. There's a little uh, brickwork. And that brown wall on the left up there was redone because somebody crashed into that. Um, 
both cars, right, Lise? Mm -hmm. And there's what our police force looks like. There's a police force. And behind that police car is a, across the street, it says garage sale now. It is a thrift store. What do you think of that thrift store, Lisa? Mm, it's pretty junky. It's kind of like Granny's Attic. <laughs> Granny's Attic. <laughs> so, yeah, this Dairy Queen is uh, nice. And there's a family dollar tree right next to the Dairy Queen that usually has quite a few people at it. I don't see the rest of the cars, but there's people there. And we're stopped by a train. Oh yeah, we're stopped by that same train that was down the road. Um, what's going to be interesting is when we go down this street right here behind the train, there is a movie theater that was shut down for years that opened in the 50s, just reopened this last weekend, two weekends mm -hmm. back. Last weekend. Last weekend? Um, oh yeah, because today is uh, Thursday. It opened last weekend and it was playing uh, Grease. They've been closed down for a long time. They remodeled it, they redid it, got looking really good and kind of retro, and it's open now. And this week they're playing the Goonies in it. And I think next, might be next week they're playing Star Trek VI. Uh, so they're going to be doing second run movies there and some of the older movies as well. And so we're stopped by a train. <laughs> we're still stopped by the train. And this yard usually has political signs in it. We vote for somebody for something. A little bit of wind has damaged that sign there, I see. <laughs> uh, what do you want to say to Ava, Lisa? Hi, Ava. Can't wait for you to come out here and visit. And you might notice behind Lisa, it's 303 at this gas station down the road. Yeah, this one's more expensive. This one's usually more expensive. There's a Top Donuts behind it. Let's see. I don't know how long the train is. Well, there's the end of the train right there. Here we go. All right, so you can see the movie theater. It's kind of underneath that sign. Well, we'll show you as you drive by it. Underneath that sign, this is OTT Group. If you can see that right over there, the billboard. It's like underneath it, across it. There you can see the marquee of the, on the movie theater. And it'll say Cove in big letters there too. Here we go. All right, you excited about your Christmas coffee, Lisa? Mm -hmm. So this is like a downtown area, but it's like an old-timey downtown area, but they, they're revitalizing that. All right, and on the, on the right up here, now you can see Lampasas, where Vanessa lives, is straight up that way to go there, but Colleen is this way. And there is an Ace Hardware right over there on the right. This store has a little bit of decor, or this house has a little bit of decor on it. Uh, they're doing some work on the railroad tracks here. There's also a, a monument there that's uh, it's Copper's Cove. It's like the middle of Copper's Cove, I guess. I don't know, that little cement thing right over there. But you can see the cove. Well, we'll see it more as we drive by it over there in the movie theater. And there's some murals over here on that building. There's a restaurant called Little Texas straight up. They had... Uh, that's his ex-husband Bill. They had his name on there several weeks ago when he passed away. All right, here's our uh, downtown. You can see. Here's the movie theater here. You can see that? Goonies. $5 for adults, $3 for kids. And there's the big cove sign. They've just totally redid this here in the last several months and got this looking really nice here. And they're only open on the weekends right now. There's their uh, I like the menu. They're changing their colors and losing their leaves more this year than they did last it year. It does seem like it. Yeah, it might have to do with Fury. Well, it's been cooler, I think, this year. Not cold, but cooler than it was last year until Yuri. <laughs> here we go. And there is a store up here across the street. Look at this. Look at this mural right here. Check this out. You can kind of see it. Big mural on this, but this. They've been here for 71 years. They're going to business. There's a tattoo parlor there that's usually got people around it. This right here is where they have the farmer's market. It just closed down a few weeks ago, so it's closed down for the season. And here's a line of buildings that have been here. Some of them are new. Like this Hawaiian restaurant was a closed down Grill Daddy's. This band is barbecue, which is just brand new. And there is a there's a Herb Thai restaurant right here that was a music store that was closed down when we got here. So there's three brand new restaurants just this year right in that little row right there. There's a pretty cool little ice cream parlor and popcorn store right back here. And coming up here, 
the Dollar Tree is in this parking lot. There's in Decor and More is a great store to go to, and there's a big pothole there. See the big potholes? They covered them up a little bit. And here's our post office right here, and the Burger King is right here across from the Cove Korean Baptist Church where they have an English service. But yeah, there's our Burger King. We like going there. They got really good coupons, cheap food that's good. Uh, oh, there's like a power chair or something in the back of the truck here. And we've got our action pond is over there. There's a group of apartments right here. And again, you see Colleen is that way and Lampasas is that way on that sign right there. It says Human Resources Center is to the left, Municipal Golf Course is to the left. Which we've never been to the golf no, course. No, we've never been to the golf course. Now there's a really cool pink building up here, Lisa. Tell us about this pink building on the left. This is brand new. They've only opened a few weeks back and it's a sweets shop. They have cupcakes and apparently ice cream and different things in there. They were called uh, blind, the Blinded Lime, which we never went to. And there they are. There's the cool building. And it comes out right on Crated Cakes. Cakes. There's a McDonald's right across the street here. There's a 7-Eleven, Sunoco, and this says Cactus Motel over here. Now the Mexican restaurant, I think, has been closed down, but the hotel is still existent. Uh, and that big doggy sign has only been there for a few months. This so. is the main strip of town right now. Yeah, this is right the main here. strip. So I think where the movie theater was used to be the main downtown. And I think this strip here has replaced it because there's a ton of businesses down the street, including Walmart and HEB Grocery Store, which is kind of like what a Kroger's would be for you guys. Uh, and there's more stuff. There's a lot of fast food restaurants down here like Chick-fil-A, Panda Express, Subway, Papa John's, Domino's will be up here on the left. See, there's a closed down CVS, CVS right here. And I don't know if you can see, but in the parking lot, is a blanket oh that's probably Josh and those Cheyenne still are probably there. still there. They are. I hope they're still alive. They're, I think, we think they're homeless people. We, we purchased a meal for them at Burger King a few nights back. Uh, there's a Popeyes behind there. Yeah, see, they're over there in the parking lot asleep back there. Uh, or they're just got stuff covered up, maybe. I don't know which. No, I think they're over there. Uh, and this is the Black Meg 43 restaurant here. It's a local restaurant. A lot of people there right now. Uh, and Ava, there is a shop up here on the left coming up called uh, Chameleon Counters, I think, where they always have a sign that says snakes and lizards. But the letters fall off and it says snacks and lizards. They've been doing construction on the road over here for a long time. So we're hoping they'll get done with it. But they, it's, there's big dogs barbecue down there. But you can see the... Uh, they're working. They've been working hard on it. It's going to look good once they get it done. This little Caesars right here on the corner just opened up this year. It was down the road behind us, but this year they moved up here and they are usually hopping. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a Domino's right across the street over there. So it's little Caesars right there, Domino's right over there. And uh, there's a Goodwill store right behind that 7-Eleven coming up. Well, little Caesars is not packed. It's only about noon 30. Usually there's tons of cars over here. And there's a KFC. There's the chameleon counters right there where they they have snakes and lizards in that building that's green and yellow, but I haven't seen them. There's the Shipley Donuts. And our Dunkin' is going right up over here. And here's the 7-Eleven and the Dunkin' Donuts will be across the street. There it is. There is the skeletal structure of love. the Dunkin' Donuts right there. And this Applebee's has been packed through the whole pandemic. It's like they've never slowed down. They're kind of, that's the model list I've seen in the parking lot. And there's quite a few cars there. But usually it's packed. Uh, there's Benny Boyd, where they sell cars. There's a little taco stand. Little right taco there. stand. We've never been to that one. Yeah, we'll have to go there one day. And there's our Walmart, you can see in the back. There's not a lot across the street on this side. But over here... We have our Walmart, a bunch of business. There's Papa John's and Subway right here in this cash station area. T-Mobile. Here's a Cane's Chicken. Uh, there's a GameStop back there. There's a Wendy's. And this uh, 
the Bird's ABF truck, this is a five minute oil change. It's brand new, they're not even unbuilding it yet. It was an Arby's, but it was closed down for several years. And there's our Chick-fil-A. We've waited 45 minutes in that drive-thru. You can see all the people in the drive-thru right now. <laughs> there's our H-E-B Plus, it's really good. And uh, there's a few more restaurants up here, a Whataburger, a Jersey Mike's, and then we're getting ready to get on the highway here. A Chipotle's right up here, yeah. And there's a pizza place. I always call it Yangari's Pizza, but it's not Yangari's. There's a, a wing stop back there, too. See right here is Jersey Mike's and Chipotle. We've never been to either of those. Um, and we're heading out on the highway. Highway 14. There's a water, big water tower up there. So we're, we're leaving the Copper's Cove area, and we are getting ready to head into the Colleen area. So there's a lot of business. Colleen is a big big area. There's a lot of business there, and there is a Dunkin' Donuts that is already in existence. And it's not very far from where we live, as you could tell. It's like maybe 10 minutes out, or at least. Yes. Hey, hey, Paul and Lisa in the same shot. So, do you want to congratulate Ava on those A's? I did. Good job, girl. Keep getting them A's. You got the smocks. A is for Ava even if you spell it backwards. Is that called a parallelogram like Bob? The name is same forward and backwards? <laughs> but what's funny is you got a straight A student that still can't spell her middle name. <laughs> <laughs> Shania! <laughs> There's a popular place up here called Central Texas College. Popular, isn't it, Lisa? Yep. That's where we get off the ramp at, too. And look at that view with the Watch hill your over arms. there. I can't see my mirrors. There's a hill over there. Look, Colleen, next seven ex exits right there. Uh, and also, we are in a very highly military zones because there's a place called Fort Hood, a big military base in the U.S. that's right up near here, too. I say big, it, it may possibly be the biggest one in the U.S. There's a deer. Oh, a dead deer on the side of the road. Sorry, camera movement's a bit quick. I don't know if you can see it or not. But it says here, Central Texas College is the next right. Or is it asking the question? Central Texas College is next. Right? Bell Tower Drive. There is a big sign that says Central Texas College. You can see it right there. Coming up the road. Getting off on it coming up to exit 288. There's an airport sign you can see. So if you guys want to fly down here, maybe you can fly to the airport. That's only you know less than 20 minutes probably away from our house. Here's Clear, Clear Creek Road. Now we're getting off the highway here, and there's going to be a lot of businesses up here. Tell Ava there's a lot of businesses up here. A lot of businesses up here, Ava. Tell, it's like 10 minutes down the road from us. Tell Ava there's a place where her mom could work. There's a place where your mom could work. Here's the Central Texas College campus. It's pretty big. It's just part That's of where it. where you could go to college, Abe. <laughs> Abe could go to college. Right over here somewhere. One of the buildings. Uh, the reason... Them straight A's, man. <laughs> the reason Lisa said your mom could work here is because there's a place up here called... Advent Health. It's a hospital. And, oh, here's a big Central Texas College. Sign. Sorry about the camera moving again. That Advent Health House place, and we go to it. It's there's there's part of it is directly across the street from the Dunkin' Donuts we're going to, right, Lisa? Yep. So now, do you think Ava would be interested in having a donut from Dunkin' Donuts? Oh yeah. Not the coffee though, right? No. But a donut, yes. Well, maybe I could go in. And I could get a donut for Ava, and I could eat it for her, and she could vicariously experience eating the donut through me eating it. There are also sometimes beggars up here. As you can see, there's a person walking right there. Uh, I would say it's a person walking, but I've seen enough beggars up here to think that he's probably begging. See, there's by that rooms to go truck, there is a like a backpack thing in the road that probably belongs to him. Yeah, he looks like he's got a little cardboard sign. So if you come up here, Ava, you might get to see somebody asking for money. That It happens up here. But it probably happens all over these days. It's 59 degrees out today. It's now 1233. And Dunkin' Donuts is going to be down the road here on the left. There's a place across the street called Slim Chickens. 
Alright, here's this man. Here he goes. There's slim chickens down there, but attached to that gas station. And there's a lot of cars on this side. That's, we're going to run into a lot of businesses coming up. Again, the Central Texas College here campus is right over here on the right. Big area. I don't know how big it is. I haven't seen the whole thing, but I know it's big. Because uh, we are in Central Texas. They're building stuff right across the street here. They got construction. Even they've been building whatever that is. They're working on it at nighttime too. I don't know what it is. I know there's a new uh, uh, Dutch Brothers Coffee coming. Down here, yeah. Yeah, up here on the left. It'll be they're building it too. Now here's a place called Zaxby's. It's a chicken place. It's a Starbucks coffee. See Advent Health right here. There's Advent Health stuff right over here. So Lily could just transfer right over there. And there's our Dunkin' Donuts right here on the left. There's a lot of stuff coming up here. There's a Walmart market on the left. Something here. They got something over here too. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a lot of construction around here, Ava. A lot of things are building up. The place is big. So, by the time you become a grown teenager, there'll be plenty of places for you to come around around here and check out if you ever make it out to Texas. Do you think Ava will ever make it out to Texas, Lisa? I hope so. Excuse me. <laughs> That's a preemptive Christmas coffee burp right there. See, this is all Ad Advent Health right here. The drive through specs. All right, you going in? Mm -hmm. okay. We're going to go in. Yeah, there's a lot of businesses all down this road. And my uh, doctor's office is right over there. Right across the street. And your doctor's office was over there, your orthopedic doctor, but he gone. He done moved to Austin. He gone. He went to Austin. What's this right in front of us here? That's another medical place. I think they do physical therapy and stuff there. Mask up for safety. Put your mask on. Did you like my song? Yeah. Mask off for safety. Put your mask on. All right, Ava, we're going in. We're taking the end of Dunkin' Donuts with us. You get to check it out. This is in Colleen, Texas. Look, mini pancakes, Ava. And look at this, your signature celebration. Ready, go to is two, three, four, five dollars. Handcraft espresso drinks. You might be too young to have espresso at this point, but one day maybe you'll have it. Look, how they blend coffee. Is this what you're getting, Lise? Two dollar medium palo bowl of coffee. All right, here we go. And there's a Baskin Robbins in this one too. So you can get ice cream or donuts here. Look at this. All right. So we are gonna get some beverages and some donuts. Hi. I'm Hello, talking. To, I'm talking to my niece Ava in oh. Illinois. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a donut for her and eat it vicariously. She can live through me. You want to say hi to Ava? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what kind of donut would you like? Let's see. Are these really pumpkin? Oh yeah. Oh no, these are blueberry. Blueberry. Oh gosh. You guys don't have pumpkin anymore? Oh, you do still have pumpkin? Uh, how many ones? What kind? I don't know yet. Let's see. Well, what kind do you think Ava would want? Because I want to eat one for her. I have no idea. Okay. Well, she's how old is she? Thirteen. What kind of donut you think a 13 year old girl would want? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> pink what sprinkles? Else? Yeah. A pink sprinkled one. Uh, uh, I'm going to go with the pink sprinkles. I like that too. Are you? He likes to, okay. Go ahead. We're still no, no, looking. I'm turning around. I'm just asking the right. Uh, I will eat a pink sprinkle one for you, Ava. I will do it for you. So I'll, I'll just take one of those for myself okay. and I'll get a uh, one of these. Uh, these have cream, uh, Boston uh, cream in them or something? Yes. Okay, I'll take one of those too. And then how many do you want? And then I just want a pumpkin donut. Could you put mine in a separate bag? It's a bag yeah. She don't want to get Ava germs. I don't want his chocolate frosting on my pumpkin donut. <laughs> no, you don't want to get Ava germs from That's Ava's weird. donuts. <laughs> uh, and what else? Would you, you want? Are uh, you gonna get a drink? I, I want the oh. pink sprinkled one. I don't know if you already got one. Yeah, that's all I. That's the only one. For I just three, three donuts. Is that it for donuts? And then you want your beverage. These are going to be good. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right. Thank you. And then I'm going to get the medium holiday blend coffee. Could I get three sugars and three creams in it? Medium uh, holiday blend? Yeah. And you said three and three? Yes, please. Uh, would you like any, um, uh, which cost more than that? Uh, no, I'll just take it the way it is. Okay, uh, and he's a hot? Yeah. Uh, he's a, um, you can't be here, Ava, so you have to go to the next register, which right now, your next register is in Illinois. Oh, look, they got Funko Pops here. In the world. Well, Dunkin' Donuts carries a lot more stuff than they used to, huh? Yeah, the mini pair of stuffed marshmallow man. He's got something. Is it a toilet toothbrush or something? It's like a toothbrush. Oh, it's an ice cream scoop. Oh, for for Baskin Robbins. The movie must feature him at Baskin Robbins. I bet. I think that's out right now. I think it just came out. That movie. I like getting those donuts. You guys know this town pretty good. We know it, just a little, just a little. Why, do you know it good? Or? Well, I used to 40 years ago, but it changed quite a bit. Oh, yeah? Well, we were we were from Illinois, so we we just been here for a little over a year. Uh, have you been to the Polar Bear restaurant in town? No. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, I got to get back up in the van now. I just want to find the 183. Oh, you're looking for a, you're looking for a road. Oh. Oh yeah, I don't. I'm not familiar. You with don't. That. You don't have a GPS on a phone or anything. I probably do. I'm 21st century stupid. Can't use it. Don't know. Uh, here, talk to Ava. I got my holiday blend coffee and my pumpkin spice donut. And Uncle Paul is trying to help this man that's trying to navigate his way to somewhere, but he don't know how to use his GPS. Here's the Baskin Robbins got all these different crazy monster pop flavors. Here they are. Here's the creation. We like being close to Duncan's. We got this one here, and then there's one in Harker Heights, which is just a little down the road, maybe 10 minutes. And then there's going to be one in the Cove coming in 2022, which is right around the corner. All right. All right, Ava, so here we go. Say goodbye to the ice cream. And heading out with our donuts. And yes, I did get you the pink sprinkle donuts. And I will eat it for you from hundreds of miles away. Let's get back in the truck. Lisa will be getting me a wipe, no doubt. <laughs> and set our things down. Have you tasted your coffee yet? No. Okay. You need to clean your hands. Good. There's that wipe, I told you. And I'm in agreement. Don't get too close to people. You need to wipe that handle off too. Okay. We, we frequently wipe our hands like this, Ava, when we come out of places. Whether it's a grocery store or like a Wendy's or whatever. Alright, let's see what Lisa thinks of her Christmas coffee. Christmas blend coffee. Lord, I thank you for letting her receive these snacks. Bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, she likes it, Ava. Can I smell it and see what it smells like? I don't know if you can smell it. Don't, don't touch. I wipe my hands. I know. It just smells like coffee to me. Let me see the Christmas light decor on the cloth. Look at that. It says Duncan surrounded by Christmas lights. Yeah, that's neat. So let's see. How would you rate that that coffee? But you do like it. It's, uh, I don't know. I, I don't think 
I've had any coffee that tastes like this before. It's like, like they said, it's kind of fruity. Oh, it's fruity? Mm -hmm. See, Ava, it just smells like coffee to me, so I can't really tell. I don't like coffee, so it's just the aroma of nasty. It's got a little bit of a, <laughs> like a bitter undertone, but it's not too bitter to where it's like nasty. And I got it with three creams and three sugars. All right, but now for the real test. I'm going to eat your donut for you, Ava. Did you get any napkins for yourself? I didn't. Get one out of there, then. Thank you. All right, so here's what it looks like. This is the recommendation for a 13-year-old girl. Right here, a pink donut with sprinkles. And I'm going to eat it. This... Is that a pumpkin donut? Does it kind of taste like your pumpkin bread you make? A little bit. All right, here we go, Eva. This is for you. Mmm, I'm Eva, and this donut is delicious. Yum! Mmm! I'm a 13-year-old Eva, and I love this pink sprinkle donut. Yum! Now, Ava, this is the time frame, being November of 2018, when you and your sibling sister are both teenagers for a limited time. Hey, Ava, this wasn't a bad choice. You did good picking this donut, Ava. Lucia's enjoying her sipping on her coffee. Look at that. This is what you call pink deliciousness. Early teen deliciousness. But, they're starting to get a little bit of, bitter of a taste to it to me, Ava. I don't know. I think you would have been better off getting it without the sprinkles, Ava. You should have better taste than that, but it's pretty close. It's not bad. We'll see as I proceed. Continue to eat Ava's Donut for Ava. How's that pumpkin donut? It's good. I was glad to see they still had them. <laughs> Thanksgiving is one week from today, 2021. But they've already got the Christmas coffee flavors out. They should have a red, white, and blue donut for the 4th of July. They need to beat the punch on that one. That lady's wearing a cat, a hat like it's cold. She's over there. Yeah, and? Well, School's out. You lost your napkin. Oh. Thank you. We're about to follow the journey of Ava's virtual donut into the cave of Paul. Here we go. Dun, dun. Oh, don't do that. Dun, dun. Dun 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 Nobody wants to see that. That's disgusting. Your donut doesn't have too much longer to go, Ava. It's not gonna be with us much longer. Do you wanna say goodbye to your donut, Ava, while it's still there? Goodbye, donut! My donut's falling apart. Let's see the inside of that bag. Show Ava. There it is. All right, Ava. It's so tender, it's falling apart. The crumbly pumpkin. Is that the last of it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, here we go. How much left to your donut, Ava? Uncle Paul is eating this for you, Ava. Look at that. Which means if there's something wrong with this and I get botulism or something, Ava, you're going to have to stick your finger down your throat so you can virtually throw up along with your Uncle Paul. We should get that on video if that happens, right, Lisa? Mm -mm. That's disgusting. All right. 
here we go. Say goodbye, Ava. Where are people coming? There are people getting out over there. They're getting ready to enter because this is a bit of a popular area, isn't it, Lisa? Oh, yeah. Duncan be hopping. Here they come. And there's a... Right in that next shopping center over is a Boozy Beans, which we've never been to. Apparently, right that's a chain of coffee and whatnot. But possible alcohol. And then there's going to be a um, Dutch Brothers down the road here, too. Another coffee place. Lots of coffee places. Lisa has tried Dutch Brothers once. It looks like our neighbor's car. Do you think it is? No, no. it's not. Ah. Now I'm going to have to wash down Ava's donut with some of my water here. As Lisa has pointed out, the gentleman in the car right behind her is not only drinking the beverage from Dunkin' Donuts, he is also vaping in there. And he's right there. How, how far down is your coffee? I don't know, not quite halfway. Now I still have a chocolate donut that's upside down. They put it in there so that the chocolate frosting would not interfere with Ava's yeah. donut. So you don't want to no. mix a 13 year old teen donut with... Oh, they had it in a different bag? No, it's in there, but it's upside down. Oh. So, so the frosting's down here. Yeah, I didn't want your frosting to get on my donut because I don't like either one of the frosting. Flavor donut, Ava. Pink frosting with sprinkles. I doubt that. <laughs> Maybe it's something cool like blueberry and toasted coconut. Those are some of the ones I like quite a bit. Or pumpkin if they taste like my muffins, huh? She probably would like that. Uh, she might like go for the chocolate too. <sighs> Maybe Ava just depends on what mood she's in. Because you know, right now, it almost doesn't matter what time it is. She's going to be on her period. So she'll probably crave weird things like chocolate donuts or pink donuts with sprinkles. Time to put the seatbelt back on. How long are you going to go on this? Where do you want to take Ava to next? I didn't want to take Ava anywhere. That was coming from your Aunt Lisa, Ava. Uncle Paul is the one that took you on this journey. Aunt Lisa wanted to snub you. I just get tired of a camera being in my face all the time. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the donut journey to Dunkin' Donuts. As you could see about how far it was away from the house. And you saw some of the things that oh, were around here. Oh, there's a bus that Jeff could drive. Oh, yeah. Right over there. The uh, bus is ketchup and mustard. Uh... Because there's a red thing there and a yellow. Um, yeah, a bus right over there. In a place that Lily could work at. Right over there. So, yeah. the the All, all of this stuff is here. Stuff for Ava. Stuff for Lily. Stuff for Jeff. All of it is right here in this area. And even Aunt Vanessa is only about 20 minutes or so away from here. Right, Lisa? Mm -hmm. Look at those napkins. All right. Well, we're going to say goodbye to you now from the parking lot of Dunkin' Donuts. I hope you enjoyed the virtual donut eating there with Lisa and Uncle Paul. And Lisa, you want to say anything to Ava? Bye, Ava! <laughs>